to have um, two pictures on the screen and then I would like you guys to identify some things for me. So it will start with an interaction. Can you see it? You can't. Someone is saying she can't. Oh. You can't see the wall. You can't see the necklace wall. But you can see that there's something there. Just that like you can't see it well. Okay. But then uh, it says identify the accessories in this picture. So what do you think are the accessories in this picture? If you want to speak, then you can raise up your hands and yes. The necklace. The necklace, okay. The hat. The hat, okay. Who else? The shoe. The shoe, okay. Nice. The bag. The bag. Mm -hmm. Anything else? The phone. The earring. Uh -huh. okay. The earring, okay. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay, so let's go to the next picture. Yes, this one too. The wristwatch. Okay. And then what else? The shape. Okay. And what else? Those on this side. It's like you are not joining. Everything is in white. Please, the next answer should come from here. Sunglasses. Okay, yeah. And then the necklace. The necklace. Okay. I think it's level one. The slippers. Okay, okay. So it looks like you have an idea of what an accessory is. Because the pictures are given and the way you've been able to identify it, that means you have an idea of it. So accessories are basically the things that you add to your outfit to bring it out, you know, you add some individuality to it. But um, I would like to narrow down to the jewelry part of accessorizing. Yes. So, and then first of all, to, you mentioned what you could see in the picture, but there was one thing that was missing. I expected someone to say it. Although it's not visible, but it's an important uh, part of accessorizing. And makeup. someone tell me what it is. The makeup. The makeup. Mm, not really, no. Yeah. Any it's not something that you can see, you know. As for the makeup, I mean you you can see it. That way you can't see, but it's it's an important part of accessorizing. It's an accessory. Yes. Yes. Esther, oh Hesta you can't see. I think this one you can't see. <laughs> I should say it to me. Okay, so it's confidence. Yes, it's confidence. I, I expected you people to say it because you're in fashion. You know, confidence is uh, the first accessory that you need. Because without confidence, whatever you put on, you can't make that statement that you want to make. No matter the outfit you wear, no matter the, the necklace, the jewelry that you put on, if you don't have confidence, you can't bring it out or you can't carry yourself well. So confidence is the first important accessory that you need. Okay. So these are the, some of the definitions of accessorizing. I think I've, I've talked about it, so we'll move forward. Okay, so we are going to talk about how to pair your accessories with your outfits. Yes, uh, most people don't really know about these things, but it's a very important thing to know in fashion because your outfit can be all glam, but if you don't have the right accessories or you don't pair it well, you will send the wrong impression or your accessories can even take the attention of your outfit off. Yes, so we are going to talk about how to pair your uh, outfits with your accessories. So first of all, we have categories. So I would like to go into the corporate world. That is corporate outfits. So what do we understand by corporate outfits? Well, formal. Okay. So more like the outfits you take to work. Yes. So formal outfits like this. So these kind of outfits 
there is a rule to accessorizing it. Whether it's in suits like this, or even can you tell me what I'm wearing as a corporate outfit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's okay, yes. So whether it's in a suit form like this or it's in a dress, and then you are going to a corporate place, there is a way to accessorize. Whether to the office, business meeting, or interviews, you have to accessorize it well. So I'm going to talk about the things that you need. So in those corporate world, you don't need to wear bold stuff. For example, my outfit like this, I could have chosen to wear maybe something like this. Can you see? Yes, I can wear it, but it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because I am coming to talk to you, it's in a corporate setting, more like a meeting. And I have this big choker on my neck, and let's say a big earring. Whilst I'm talking, your focus is <laughs> on my yeah. on my neck and yes, exactly. So you won't pay attention, it will be distractive to you. So when you are going or when you are styling someone, let's say a client comes to you, you style her corporate outfit very nicely. You have to be able to tell her, okay, with this outfit that you have on, it's better to match it with something like this. Something like what she's holding, can you see? Mm -hmm. That's like a slim necklace with an earring. You can either wear a watch or a bracelet. So as you can see, I am in a bracelet and then my necklace and then cute earrings. So that is corporate style. So it's good for the office, for business meetings, and for interviews. Yeah. So are we clear on that side? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I should move on. Yes. Okay. So casual, casual outfits. This is where the it's a little bit detailed because casual. There's a lot of casuals that people wear. You know, everybody has different ways of wearing their casual outfits, and those are the outfit that you wear like your everyday wear. It's like what you even have is casual. You know, uh -huh. there's a way to style it. So. Eh, I don't want to say, can someone tell me what they think would help when you are styling a corporate, uh, a casual outfit? What should you put into consideration? Yeah. It has to be comfortable. Comfortable, okay. That's, it's cool, it has to be comfortable. But what, what will inspire you to style it? Like when you are styling it, you know, let's say the person is in a jeans and a top, what would you consider before you start adding the accessories, before you start styling them? Oh, if you want to talk, you know, just, yeah, just say it. <laughs> what, what would you, your client has come to you, you know, maybe you sewn a nice top on and then she's matching with the jeans and then you want to make the look complete with accessories what would you put into consideration before you tell her the accessories to put on okay please yeah what did you say the dress the outfit what yeah what on the outfit will you put into consideration before adding the accessories yeah. there. Yeah, the neckline. She's right. So the neckline. So you have to look at the neckline. The neckline determines the type of accessory that the necklace to put on. Because most casual wears, you have the, the neckline. You know, it's very visible. So we have types. You know, there are a lot of types, but I, I narrowed it down to three. I think it's four years, the ones that we most often wear. So we have the V-neck. I'm sure you guys know what the V-neck is. Yes. Uh-huh. So the V-neck is that type. Yes. And then the low cut. Very low cut. So that's the V-neck. So when you are styling someone for who is wearing a casual outfit with a V-neck like this, there are some rules to the styling. So if you see, if I actually sure can see the necklace, you know the one that um, Salma has on, it has like a V shape. So it falls neatly inside it. 
and then the other lady too has like a layered necklace. When we talk about layered, that's double, double or three steps. Yes, that's layered. So her own two falls inside it. So the rule is that it shouldn't be longer than the neckline. That's the V-neck. So the necklace shouldn't be longer than it. That's one thing you should consider. And also, it shouldn't be too short. So that the distance between the V-neck and it's your neck, so that the necklace is here, and then the V-neck is down, is wrong. So those are the tips for styling the V-neck. So when you sew an outfit and you want to style it and it's a V-neck, you should consider this thing. And then you can add your bracelet and then your ring. I think we have for the men, the ring has a V-neck. Yeah, you know the men too, they have like tops that have just like doesn't go too low. But then uh, this one, I think it's a V-neck, right? Just like doesn't go. Yes. Okay. So the next one is a round neck. I'm sure we all know what a round neck is. Yeah. Show me. Me, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Yours is a round neck. Okay. Okay. Mine too is a round neck. Okay. Hey, me, I didn't know that you mean. Okay. So there are some rules to style a round neck. So uh, can we go back to the, the, the picture? Okay. So you see that picture? The lady is in a round neck. The guy too is in a round neck, which is up. So for a round neck, you can use a simple chain, you know, like this one. But it has to, most often you have to consider it, like if it's a big chain, it has to be round. Like the lady's own, you know the chain is a bit thicker. So you can use like a V-shape necklace to style a round neck. So if you're using a sling chain to like what I'm wearing, that one is fine, but it has to fall on it. So you can go and use the, the first picture, the green necklace that we saw, to style something like this. Most people do it because sometimes they don't know. But you as fashion students, now you know, so you should put all those things into consideration. So if it's a guy, if it's a men's outfit, you can style it with a, a chain like this, either the short one or layered, to give it that look that you want. Yes. Any questions before I move on? I don't want to. So far, the two that we've done, are we okay? Yes. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Yeah. And we, we are coming on that one. Yes. Right now we are on the camera, so we go to when you are going for occasions, wedding, dinner dates, all those things. Yes. So since we are cool with the round neck for the casual, let's go to. Yes, we have. What do you see on the screen? Neck neck. Sexual neck. Okay, so who knows that one? <coughs> What's a sexual neck? <laughs> the one that is very up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh -huh, that one. That's a sexual neck. Okay. So I, I, I won't say it. I want you guys to see. Just think. What type of necklace do you think? Or did you even know that when you wear a turtle neck, you can wear a necklace? Yes. Oh, you know? Yes. Okay, wow. Okay, then tell me, what type of necklace do you think will match with a turtle neck? Turtle neck, what's your turtle? Oh. <laughs> if, you, if you have an idea, just say it. Like something like so something like V, is it like a slim, is it more longer, yeah. or is it shorter? Slim and not too short. Not too short. So like medium. Okay. She said something like this. She can start something like this with a turtle neck. What, what, what more? Turtle neck. Oh, oh I should say it myself. Which one? Something like this, but one will be longer than this. Okay, so layered. That's right. She said layered. Layered necklace. You can style a turtle neck with a layered necklace. Okay, so let me go to the picture. 
Yeah, so what do you see there? So mostly the rules about turtle neck styling is that you have to go for a necklace that is longer, you know, longer like what the lady is wearing. Or if you want to go for a shorter one, you know, like a slim one, like what she said, it's ideal to go with the laid, you know, like double. You don't want to go for something that is too short because it will be competing with the, the there will be a lot going on. You get it? Yes. So if you are styling a turtle neck, whether casual or even if it's an outfit that you've seen that has the turtle neck style, always keep in mind that when you are styling it with a jewelry, it has to be long or lean. It applies to both, whether male or female, the same thing goes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, question is, is it smooth? Yeah, what you it's very short, eh? So you yourself, if you're looking at the picture, what do you think? Is it nice for you? That's why I don't see. You say? That's why I don't see. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like when you saw it, is it nice? Like they are listening, is it nice? They feel it's fashion. They feel it's fashion. Okay, so one thing is that most people, you know when you don't know when you don't know about something, you will do it thinking that it's a trend. I'm sure he, he doesn't know. You get it, uh -huh. but anyone, because you is your field, you are fashionistas, you know, you know fashion, so some of these things you would know, you should do the right thing, uh -huh. because what he has done is very wrong, the necklace is so short, it's on it, it's not nice, it's not nice, so we are moving on to, still on the casual, we have a one shoulder dress, and then the the strap is a two kind of tops. What do you think is ideal for styling those ones? That one, you don't have anything here. You don't have anything here. It's one hand. I mean, I, you know one hand. Yes. And then the two, those ones. I'm waiting on this one, I don't want to say it. How would you style something like that? Oh, top. Yes, please stand up and talk. How would you style something like that? Mm. I'm waiting on. Try. Oh yeah, try. I wear a choker. A choker. You are actually right. A bold choker. Yes. yes. Something like this one. Yes. You can even do with this one. Yeah. Because you don't have anything here. You can go for something bold. You get it. But all the same. I want to chip it in. It's very huge. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Those are big ones. Statement pieces. We have bigger ones than these. Yes. But I want to check this in. When you are, although it's one hand, or maybe it doesn't have any, or here is there, you have to consider the details. If there's a lot of stones or there's a lot going on, and you style it with a neck piece, a statement, it will be too much. So mostly if you have a lot of like designs at the front, it's better to stick to an earring, maybe a bold earring. So with that, you can do like this hoop. This one, you can do something like this. You get it, uh -huh. and then you leave the rest. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is my one hand. You see, I had a statement necklace on, and then it matched with it with it well. Yeah. So now we have jewelry for occasions. When you are going weddings. Parties, date night. Yes. How would you style something like that? So let's go to for the occasion. Okay, bright. Bright and Let's say you need an outfit for a bride. How would you style it? 
whether the traditional or the white wedding, how would you style it? The, the traditional, the kente. Let's start with the kente. The traditional wedding. You want to try? Oh, try. How would you style it? Can you say outfit? You saw the nice one. How would you style it? What accessories do you use? Because the bride cannot go bare. You, you can't go without wearing something. You have to wear something. But whilst you are wearing a jewelry too, there are some rules to it that you have to consider. So. Earrings. Okay, yeah, earrings is a must. But what type of earrings are we looking at? It's not too big. The round. The round, which one? With a ball. Okay, so it's thin and then it drops at the ball. Okay, so you will style it with that for your kente. Okay, what else? For the kente, would you style it with something like this? No. Mm -hmm. This one? No. The kente. You wouldn't style it with that. Why? Can I know your reason? Why you wouldn't style it with that? Oh, please, please talk. Let's be interactive, you know. Just, just say it. <laughs> Mr. <coughs> because it looks like you want to talk, so I want to hear from you. Why wouldn't you start it with something like this? Well, the kente is in the form of an African mm -hmm. This one is they have shiny inside. Yeah. So you wouldn't style it with that? Okay. So what would you style it with if you are not styling it with this one? Will you style it with something small like my own? That one too dear. But what about the one she's holding? Uh, you style it with something like this. The pearl. Okay. But what about necklace? No one is talking about. Will you start with necklace? Mm -hmm. it, it depends on the neckline. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a picture and then let's discuss. Okay, so now it is this is like the normal, you know, most of the designs you see, the traditional ways that you see. You know, so the right, you know, you said you would do something that drops with a ball. Yeah. And exactly that's what we have there. You know, something that drops with a ball. And the other hand, her own looks small like the smaller one or the next one. This one. Yes. So the reason why they don't even have a necklace on, so what they have is an earring, a watch, and a bracelet. The reason why they don't have a, a necklace on is Nowadays, even with the kente, they use a lot of embellishments, they use a lot of designs. So if you, you add a necklace, it will take away the attention from your outfit. It won't make it nice. There will be a lot going on. So in as much as you want to style it with jewelry, you have to make sure you style it correctly. So a bracelet and a watch, a nice necklace will do. And then for the man too, mostly we have bracelets. I didn't bring the beads. But someone can go with a gold, a simple gold bracelet and then a watch. Or mostly when they can say they like to go with the beads. Just one, the traditional, and then that's fine. So that's what we have for the, the traditional look. So when you are styling a client for the traditional, you should put all those things into consideration. So let's go to the white wedding. Yeah, this one. You see? This one, when you are styling, what should you consider? What should you consider? Uh, giving them the, the, the clue. Give it to Tana. 
because they were not talking about it, they were looking. And what would you consider for something like this? You know, the picture is on this one. You didn't have the picture, at least you've seen the, the jewelry. But then, what do you think inspired this outfit? You know, the gowns we have, uh, most people use the white. You know, they have ivory, they have some that is like more gold tone, but most people go for the white here. And white, you cannot match white with gold. It will be off. And even you can see that most uh, the earring is a stud. Although it's glittering, it's stud. And then they have the hair piece. Do you get it? Uh -huh. You can't use this one. Show the uh, no, the uh, yes, the big one. You see, but some people do it. I'm sure you have seen it. Yes. Some people do it a lot, and they, some people they will put like crown. Some even go with necklace. Yes. Yeah. yes, those ones. You know, you you are fashionistas now. It's a new trend. Those ones are worn long time. So now very simple. But yet making a statement. So a simple start earrings, a bracelet will do. You see, she has a bracelet on, and then the hair is finished. So that's that for the white for, for occasions. And then when you are going as a guest, me have invited you to my wedding, <laughs> and you are coming. How will you accessorize? <laughs> Uh, when you are going as a, as a guest, this one they want to know your ideas. You are coming to my wedding. How will you accessorize? Let's say you have a, let me give you the outfit. You have a nice outfit on. Uh, let me say, it's a, it's a v neck but not too V. Because I wouldn't want you to be too V to my wedding. So something a little bit okay. Uh -huh. How will you style it? Both for this type of earrings. Which are the small ones? Yes. Okay, the start. So you want to look too extravagant or not too to much. show your shine. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's so an important cute. point. Something cute. Yes. And then your your bracelet. Will you go for a bracelet or a watch? Uh, watch nature. Watch nature. Is it for your watch? Yeah. Hey, I didn't know. <laughs> Every time I'm selling watch, so what do I do? <laughs> but you're giving me some info. Watch and check out. Say that I'm also. Let me know what's on. A lot of people don't like wearing what they say. So okay, so what do they like? Just normal bracelets. Okay, so it's either a bracelet or even a statement ring. Okay. My sweetheart, how would you style? Yeah, you. How would you style when you're coming to my wedding? A normal bracelet. Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. That's the small like, uh, you two go for the yeah. small yeah. What's your reason? I for me, I like simple. You like simple things? No. Okay. So I think so far, you guys are right. When you are going to a wedding as a guest, that's not the time that you have to put on a lot of bangles, put on big earrings. You know, when you do that, there's something called etiquette or manners. You know, you are going to someone's wedding. It's not like don't look nice, so you have to look very nice. But it shouldn't be like you are trying too much to outshine the bride. You get it. You have to keep most of your things very simple. Simple but classy. Aha. Uh -huh. So simple. You can go with a simple necklace or a simple stag earring. I think we have a picture for the wedding guest. Yes, you see. She, she has on a nice earring and then an outfit. If she didn't wear the earring, it makes a difference though. She will look too plain. Mm -hmm. Yes, so jewelry is very, very important in, you know, like your whole total look. Without the earrings, she will be looking some way. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, I, a lot of people, uh -huh, my friend here was asking about the dinner. I think maybe he has some dinner day to go. So he wants to know how to accessorize. When you've been invited to a dinner, when you are going to a dinner party, 
or maybe you are going out with your boyfriend or girlfriend on a date, how would you accessorize? How would you accessorize? I don't want to say it. Okay. When you finish, my friend will Yes, yeah, decided to also yeah. First of all, you have to be um, sexy. Sexy, you also mm. relate. Okay. And you're supposed to, you shouldn't overdo it. You have to be it's sexy and decent at the same time. At the same time, okay. So you will keep to what kind of jewelry? Okay, so go. Depending on the neckline. The slim or this one? Yes. This one, okay. It's not too much for you, it's, it's normal. Much. So with this, I can choose not to wear earrings. Mm -hmm. Depending on the hairstyle, that will come along with it. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. and you style your own self. You yeah. are going on a date. Okay, you style yourself first, and then you style. You think you style how you think the lady should appear. For me, now I'm always let's say a normal chain. Normal chain. Which will make it simple. Simple. Yeah. What about watch? For watch to I want to do it. But as you said that watch and chum. For the guy yes. Yeah. Yeah. But women they are chum. Yeah. 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 You people you have learned something. So now all other ladies watch is out. No one. Enjoy more. I should be saying you are Okay, so you for your own a, a small necklace, like simple one for you, and then a watch will do for you. And what about your woman? Okay, for her to how she, depending on the kind of thing she's going to get, for the neckline, how would she get a normal one like this? A slim one, okay. Not to make it complicated. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Please repeat it, repeat it. Okay, yeah. So, so, you wanted to keep it simple. Hey, something too bold because men the guy will say hey, all this for me it will look like you are trying too much you are trying to impress you know as a what should I you going on you know like a budget program like <laughs> 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 the guy will say hey, you know you don't want to send out the wrong signal and at the same time too, you don't want to appear and then looking not well dressed so the best way, you know, simple is always classy. So on a first date like that, keep it simple. You know, just nice necklace or earrings. So you can even stick to an earring and then. But I would advise that you always have something on your wrist because you'll be doing. You know, when you're talking to someone, hand they look gestures. at your ears, hand gestures. So you have to have something nice. And the ladies, even if you don't have a bracelet, you can have a nice ring on. You know, mm -hmm. ah, to show. You see my ring. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that for going on a date. And then we have the photo shoots. Mm -hmm. You know, you are into fashion. Very soon, you'll be doing a lot of photo shoots too, because when you come to the fashion industry, it's all about photo shoots, collaborations. Mm -hmm. And the message you want to send out there, you are doing a shoot for a magazine cover, you are doing a shoot for something. There's a different way to accessorize. What do you think should be the, the way to access files for such? You have a photo shoot. Those that came in fresh, so like late, you know, we were way ahead, but I'm sure you've gotten an idea. My sister, what do you think when you are going to have a photo shoot? It's you. <laughs> How would you style it? You know, photo shoot, the jewelries. What jewelries would you use to style? 
And with Photoshop, it has to do with taking the shot. So when you wear something simple, it might not show. It might not show. Yeah. yeah. We, you need to wear something that will, at least when you take a picture, it will. It will pop, like yeah. it, will, it will be bold. Yes. And it's meant pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's right. When you are doing Photoshop, that one, there's no, most of the time, there are no rules to it. Because it's like you want to create something, your own style, and then you want it to be very bold and then appealing to someone. To, you know the, the papers that I shared to you, see that the front page. You see, she has a lot of stuff. Mm. Yes. Yeah. On the on the waist, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. So these are some of the pictures. This was for Miss Malaika when they were doing their photo shoots. These are some of our jewelry. The ones that you were asking that is too huge hey, they are there. So they needed something to bring it out. So even though they have a choker, at the normal circumstance, when you wear a choker, you are not supposed to even wear a longer earring. But in this picture, you see that they have a choker, but they still have a bold earring. And it works because it's for a photo shoot. Even photo shoots, sometimes some of the pictures, they can have the choker and still have like layered uh, necklaces beneath it to, to give it that look. Yes. So that is more on the jewelry with outfits. I kept this one. Okay, there's a question. I thought you, you wanted to say something. Okay, so that is more about the accessorizing type. You know, accessorizing your outfits. It's very, very important. Most people take it for granted. But when it comes to fashion, everything is necessary. You know, from your top all the way to the down, everything has to match well. You don't have to neglect one aspect of it. So, I kept it simple and short. I am done. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So right now, I would like to ask some questions. You know, give me scenarios and then we can I can answer if there's something that is you don't understand, I can throw more light on it for you and then we ask some questions and we are done. Okay. Okay, uh, shoes. Okay, the reason why I get it's no fashion shows. Fashion shows, okay. Fashion shows too is more like a photo shoot. You know, her hair, so you can, that one, you see this, this picture like this, she has a bold, very bold ring and a necklace there. So for fashion show, when you wear something simple like this, no one will notice. You want to make a statement. You know sometimes in the fashion show, even me, I wonder with the clothing, sometimes they do some, I don't want to say weird, but they do some things, they're like, ah, so on the runway, this one. Is that avant-garde? Avant-garde. Okay. I'm like, ah, so who will wear this one? Yeah. Sometimes I look at some of the fashion shows outside. Somebody is coming and their outfit is like a box. Yeah. And they can't walk in. I'm like, ah. <laughs> this one, I don't understand. I think it's all to make a statement. Yeah. So on a fashion show, you don't want to look too simple. So when you are having a fashion event, you want your earrings, everything to pop. You want to make a statement, a very bold statement. So, madam, you go with bolder, bolder looks. Yeah, so next time when you're having a fashion uh, show and you want jewelry, you know, you can always have that and tag Ella, let's do collaborations, you know. Okay. After you tag me, I tag you. You go. Okay. So, uh, so, you see this one? You see this picture, Jackie Apia? She has two chokers. Yeah. Is this choker plus another one? You know? Yes, someone will say, hey, this one, you know, like the old Egyptian, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like it's fashion, you see she has it all. It's, it's all making a statement. Yes, so when it, when it comes to jewelry and styling, but on a normal day, let's say when she's going somewhere, maybe she might not choose to wear this too. She will go for only one. Why is she wearing this too? Next question. Okay. According to uh, Jackie Akiyah's, is the neck is not heavy. Is it not heavy? No, you can say, let me know. It's not heavy. The, the look, 
we make it bold to look heavy, but it's not heavy, it's actually light. Mm -hmm. It's not heavy. Oh, it's still heavy for you. It's still heavy for you. But you see, uh, you know, life is, I don't know how to put it. There's some, is it beauty is pain or something? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You know, sometimes when you want to, uh -huh, you have to go the extra mile. You want them to make a statement. Then you put the national pop pictures on it. Uh -huh, you see this outfit? You see her earring? It's not too, it's not a stud. But at the same time, it matches well with her outfit. Yes. Yes. So these are some of the things. With this outfit, imagine if she has like a neck piece on. Whether slim neck piece or whether bold one, it will still not make a statement. It will be off. Mm -hmm. So only an earring was necessary for such a look. Yes. Yeah, this one is photo shoot. Any more questions? Okay. Uh, when it comes to generics, does skin tone matter? Yeah, it does. Um, for some people, uh, mostly darker skin tones, most of the time they like silver. I don't know if I'm wrong. Madam, you like silver more than gold. Yes. You like silver. And it's because you feel like silver looks more good with your skin tone. Yes. yes. And then uh, mostly lighter tones go for gold. But then all the same, a darker tone and a skin tone can still wear gold and it will look nice. Mm -hmm. So it's more of an individual preference. Yes, what you think. Sometimes even uh, most people, some people put into consideration the, the face, the shape, uh -huh, to pick the earrings. There are some earrings that they are too bold. So if you have like a really slim or small face, when you wear it, it will be like, it's a lot. Uh -huh. So sometimes you put all those things. So fashion is more like, you know, you are the one styling. So sometimes in as much as you are going with the rules to, you have to think about what works as well. Yes. I've answered it. Oh, okay, okay. Another question. Oh, yeah, none. My question is that, you see some some ladies or individuals when they are going for necklaces or jewelry, sometimes they change the neck, the size of the neck to to identify to know the type of um, jew jewelries or necklaces. Uh huh. Where? Yes. Uh, is it like oh, your the neck thickness? <laughs> yes. Oh really? The thickness. Yes. To know the type. Yeah. Uh, like, I, mm -hmm. Or maybe to, you know, um, in the measuring, yeah. you know, sometimes maybe you are not there. Or um, let's say you, you would come and say you want this piece. Do you get it? Maybe I want to buy this piece. <coughs> but the length, you know, um, jewelry comes in length. Mm -hmm. So we have the inches 18, 12. So for a slimmer person, this one might drop and be, and be okay. But the same necklace, maybe for you, might become a choker type. And sometimes for these ones, you don't want it to be like a choker type. You would want it to drop a little bit. So I'm, think, I'm thinking that is when they put the, the thickness of the neck into consideration. Yes, because what might fit one person might not fit you. So maybe you would go for a longer one. Yes. Okay, if I'm right, I'm sure she's talking about whether you have a short neck or a longer neck. Will it determine how to wear? Ah, okay. Like when your long is your your neck is long, whether maybe you should withdraw it or Okay, I think um, this question I have a client that like she comes to my shop and most of the time <clears throat> she has like thick neck. So most of the time she tells me that she doesn't like choker. The, the big ties mm -hmm. because she feels like the neck is already big and then when she wears the choker it will be like she's suffocating uh -huh. so I think that one too comes a bit into play but all with the chokers we have sizes but I think it, it doesn't there's no rule to whether um, someone with a thick neck 
can wear this one or some of it is slim, then it has to look good on you. And then you follow the neckline. Uh -huh. So once it's not too tight on you, uh -huh. and then it, it's more of what you feel comfortable in. So it comes back to your confidence. So when you have the confidence, fashion is more like maybe you want to do the statement. But you yourself, the statement pieces are not for you. You don't feel confident in it. If you force yourself to wear it because of trends, you might not um, flow well. You see that you've worn it, but you are not comfortable in it. Yes. So maybe we, we might do an example. My, please, can you come? Yeah. And then, yeah. Yes. So that we try the, the chokers and see some. Because I think she has a thick a, a, a little bit shorter hand and her hair is so let's try and see. Let's try with the chokers. Okay, your cardigan. Yeah. <laughs> that is life. We are pushing someone. <laughs> And so to try and put this on here and then open it. Hold 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 it. it. Hold it. Hold it. But with the okay, please stand here so that you can see. So with these two looks, aside it being too tight, do you think this uh, this tight looks good on hair? Yes. It does. Yes. Okay, what's what's your reason? Why do you think it looks good on hair? Because a feeling of fine. Yes. Okay, what about my sister? <laughs> Uh, okay, what is the reason? It's too big, it's too big. Yeah. and her, her neck to a slim. Yeah. Okay, so we've answered that question. So that means for a thicker neck, it's more appropriate to go with something that is too big. And also you have to look at, that's what I said, that when you style, you know fashion is all about styling. After styling, you yourself, when you look at it, you have to be able to say, does it look nice? I'm sure even in the clothing world, the fashion, you know you have uh, different body types for different outfits. So sometimes when you wear the outfit, you yourself, you have to stand in the mirror and say, oh no, I don't think this one looks nice. Let me try something else. Okay, so thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so any more questions? We are done. Okay, so me today I'm feeling very generous. I want to dash. Dash is good, but dashing comes with. I want to dash. Should I do one or two? I want to do Okay. Okay. Um. Concerning the uh, jewelry in the fashion industry, okay. which is very essential in one's life, I, I say concerning the jewelry in the fashion industry, which is very essential in nowadays, like, as we grow. Okay, I will say, um, with the jewelry now in the fashion industry, which is very different like in our lives and as fashion designers, trying to be fashion designers in the future. What advice do you have for us who want to venture in this business? Okay, like if you, you, are, you are into fashion, yes. but maybe you want to come into the jewelry yes. industry. Like, like you want to combine the both, like fashion, including the jewelry industry. In it. Okay, it's good. Yes. So let's say you are into clothing, mm -hmm. but then you don't want to be restricted to only clothing. So you want to add jewelry. Is that what you are saying? Yeah. To the, it's very good. Do you know why? Because uh, when a client comes to you, 
sometimes you might be able to, you want to style the whole outfit. Like when you come to my shop, for instance, when I started, I was doing only jewelry. I was even doing only necklaces. Then later, I realized neck pieces, it goes with like watches and bracelets. And then I realized, okay, accessories. Eh, someone might need a bag or a purse, you know. And then later, I was like, what about shoes? Do you get it? And even hair. Mm, perfume. You see, yes. Yeah, so um, when you are into the fashion industry, if you can, it's better to combine or to be a pro in all those areas, so that when a client comes to you after you've sewn the outfit, you can, with your knowledge as well, you can advise the person that buy this and then add to it, or let me style the whole look for you. You get it? Yes. So it's it's very good to do that, and then it all comes. In line with business, I mean, you know your business. Have you sold before? Mm. Hey, she's she's in one. She's not starting. Ah, okay. All of them are semester one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah
it's better to know the makeup artist that they will be using. I think you can advise them on it. Maybe, oh, this is a gown that I've sewn for you as a bride. Oh, who is your makeup or what makeup are you using? So you check their pages. Most of the time, the pictures are there. You can tell and then you advise the clients on the right person to choose. Because makeup, your eyebrows, you know, they are different, but most people don't know about those things. So makeup too is very, very important. So as I said, the whole outlook, it has to be perfect because one person can win everything. Yes, and it won't be nice. The makeup, uh, I don't know, do you teach them? Uh, you have a makeup club? Okay, so maybe when you are doing that, the one who did my makeup, she's a friend. So maybe if you want her to come and coach them on, because I don't have much knowledge into details, the things to consider in makeup. So maybe when it gets there, your madam can arrange that and then she can coach you with all of that as well. Yeah. Any more questions? Anyone <laughs> <laughs> free. The free, yeah, free day is very important. <laughs> but first of all, before we go to the free, eh, you see the, the people you are holding. Yeah. Let, let me sell myself small, you know. Uh -huh. So we are into jewelry and then uh, more of gifts. So you have a friend who is celebrating his or her birthday. You need a gift. You know, I go by bougie on a budget. You know now the economy is somewhere and you two you are students. Yes, sometimes you want to give a nice gift, but at the same time you want to put into consideration your budget, you know, the money to use. And Lakadi, we have very affordable and quality stuff. And what makes it easier is you don't have to come to our shop. Or you don't have to call me and be saying, Oh, send me pictures. Me that thing I don't like, but it's part of you know selling. But we are trying to be more advanced. You know, send me WhatsApp pictures, the pictures will become plenty. You now come and ask how much, how much? <laughs> it's a waste of, you know. So we've made it simple. So we have a website. If you go on the website, www.lakadi.com, you will see all the products. They are in categories. You select the one you want. You can place the order there. Either pay on the website or you can pay on cash when the rider brings it to you, that's if it's to you. But if it's with, to someone, then you pay it. We have an app as well, so you can download the app. It's always on your phone, you know, you always click. So that one, when you see something that is nice, you can message me, Auntie Ella, I mean, uh, Blue Crest. This uh, design, I like it, I want to style it with my outfit. Because I know you guys, you know, I was okay, you style it after I bring it back. <laughs> and then you tell your friends too about it. So now let's go to the free, the free stuff. Yes, nothing comes free, <laughs> you know that. Okay, so I want um, three people, you know, to just summarize what I said. Just not into detail, but those that I make an so but it should also include all. And then you people will judge <laughs> among the three. I was going to pick one person, but they said I should pick two. So if I pick three, two, and I pick two, who I am on the best style? So I should pick all the three. But then the, the gifts, no? Maybe it will come in. Yes. Okay. Some of the things, maybe when I give it to you, you will not use it, but you use it to start. Can I? Yes. You can? Yes. Okay, so I'll give all the three, but maybe the first one will have, you know, that person's gift will be big. That's true. Uh -huh. Okay, so three people, brief and simple. So you decide, this one should be first, second, and third. So very fast and okay. okay, so... My boss said you should come and you will stand here and do your presentation. You come and meet me so that you you will know how it feels. Africa go So that's three. I think I will do twelve. So um, let's talk about um, so uh, auntie. 
Ella has spoken about a lot of things. And we start, I will start with what she started with. If um, you wear accessories, confidence comes first. So, yes. And yeah, before you wear your accessories, you should get your confidence up. Yeah, and also we spoke about corporate outfits. And she was like, when you wear corporate outfits, you have to wear slim earrings. And slim necklace with um, cheap earrings and bracelet or um, a watch. Then also we came to the casuals. And she said that casuals, you're supposed, um, supposed to match it with the neckline. So when you get the, the when you have the V necklace, the V neckline, you wear um, you wear something that will be within the neckline, the space within the neckline, and also it shouldn't be longer than the the space. It should it should just be within it. And also when it comes to round neckline, um, yeah, round neckline, you wear um, something that um, layered. You wear la layered earrings, hey, layered <laughs> necklace, <laughs> layered necklace, and um, also you, you can wear your bracelet and a simple um, um, yeah, yeah. earring. Then the turtle neck, you wear something long, yeah, if, if possible, the layered um, necklace. And we went to we went to the <laughs> we went to the uh, one shoulder or blouse outfit, and she said you can use a statement you can use a statement necklace, and also occasions we have the bride we have traditions tradition we go with the earring watch and bracelet. For the for the men you can use beads, but just with one on their hand. Yes, and the white wedding too. You you, you can um, you, you use a star earring, bracelet, and a um, and a hairpiece for the white wedding. Then also the guest you are supposed to wear something. You're supposed to should I check it? Yeah, I think you are looking on your paper. Your paper, yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I think that um, you know this thing should come from your yes. You 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 understood. Yes, and we should tie. Yes, and we should tie because this one is like you are reading and explaining to me. Mm. So you are possible to put it down and continue the rest okay. without yes. Okay. So uh, so the, for the guests, you wear a start um. Yeah, a start earring with um, a bracelet. Sometimes you um, you wear a ring or something to complement it. But I have to know like what is next. What is what next? No, she said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So uh, so that you know where to you wear date night. So that date night you wear something simple, very you keep it very simple. Then the simple, you keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Africa. And we, no, and sexy. What? <laughs> she said, okay, so you wear something sexy. Whatever you wear, it should match with your um, your outfit. But it should be it should be simple for the date night. Everything should be simple. Okay, so then fashion show, <laughs> fashion show. <laughs> Let me say that the fashion show is supposed to be. Um, State, you have to make a statement. Then, um, photo shoot as well, you are supposed to make it um, bold. A statement here, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. Traditional wedding. You come put on this um, jewelry for a traditional wedding. 
because of the style of the kibiti. So you have to put on just a simple mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I would like to start with the photo aspect. Mm -hmm. with, with the photo aspect, you need to get a lot of jewelry for it to stand on you. As a fashion designer or as a photo designer, you need a lot of jewelry to be on you, like to stand good on you. So it will make the picture good, glass or good. Mm -hmm. And also with, with the dinner, you need a simple jewelry or a earring that will stand up on you. Whether it's a casual dinner or let me say an evening dinner or corporate dinner, you need a jewelry that to match with your outfit, whether your shoes or your necklace or your earring, something that to blend with your dressing. And also for a casual wear, you need a jewelry that will fit like a earring. You don't need to wear a earring that is so big and long, something little around your neck that will match with your dress. And also you don't need a chin that will stuff in your neck. Something that will you wear that it will bring the attitude of your dress. And sometimes you need to be mindful of some of the jewelry that we wear for occasions. Sometimes some of you wear a particular jewelry that will not match with the dress, but we have to be careful about how we start ourselves so that you will not become too look with you know you can in some way. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one the yeah, me, I won't decide. Yeah. I'll leave it to you to do. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how the decision is going to Voice. Uh, should it be voice? Okay. Madam. Yeah. Or writing the okay. name. So we touch by in the number of hands. Okay. Okay. So don't vote so twice. twice. Please. Okay, but give us something ten. So that you will come and say that my friend didn't vote for me. You want to, you didn't do well. Your friend doesn't want to vote for you. But because you are the person's friend, the person will be. So you won't see who voted or who did not vote. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have number one, two, three. Yes. So number one. Number one. No, just one hand, please. One hand. So one number one. one. Is but please, the rule is that everyone should vote. Number one is two. Uh, Everyone should vote, please. So number one, please, by hand. Number one, by hand. Please, are you listening? Number one, by hand. Who vote me? Up, 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 up. Where's the hands from? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I have six. Okay. Then Someone should write it to so. Number one. Number two. Number two. One, two, three, four, five. Some people are voting to that. Some people are voting to Please. No, please. No, 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 no. If you are one, just put your hand. Madam, you voted for the first No, no, no. No. She didn't. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that another one? Nine. Nine. Okay. Six, nine. Then number three. Number three. Some people have not voted yet. My friend. You've not voted. You've not voted. No. Who? Who did you vote? Number two. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we have a winner. 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 Okay, so we um, based on the votes, yes, number one, number two, number three, number two. Number two. Number two. Number three. Okay, so first of all, all of you are winners. You may come in here to volunteer, to, you know, all of you are winners. So, uh, <laughs> hey, okay. I am to know. So the, the first one, the winner, number one, is come um, Oh, let's clap for you. Yay! Number one. Yes. Number two. 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 Number two.
the whole this thing. is yes, the whole set. This Quite. is a nice thing. Let's do a Get your this for me. <laughs> so receive it. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I am not bring things to put in. Mm -hmm. So you receive that. Yeah. Sure. So let's give a clap 